Hello everyone, welcome back to the Popsicle Night channel. My name is Joseph and today I'll be showcasing Kyogre, Amazing Rare from Shining Fates. But first of all, I want to thank you for taking the time out of your day to check out this video. Please don't forget to click like button if you like this video, hit the thumbs down if you don't. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. And as of recording this video, we've finally reached 400 subscribers to this humble channel. Again, thank you so much to everyone for all of the love and support you've given for this channel. With that said, let's get started. Kyogre Amazing Rare has 120 HP, which is 10 more than most of the other Amazing Rares. And this can definitely be a big difference for sure. And its attack Amazing Surge for one water, one lightning, one metal, and one colorless, it will do 80 damage to all of your opponent's Pokemon. And with the help of Telescopic Sight, Amazing Surge can even deal up to 110 damage to all of your opponent's bench V or GX Pokemon, which is insane. In just a few turns, you can practically KO any Pokemon in your opponent's entire board. And it's no surprise for an Amazing Rare to have difficult energy costs to fulfill. However, the energy Kyogre uses allows it to synergize with other awesome Pokemon. For example, since we have Metal Energy, I will be including Zacian V. With its Intrepid Sword ability, while it ends your turn, you can draw 3 cards if you have no other choice. And if any of those 3 cards are Metal Energy, you can choose to attach them onto Zacian V. And for 3 Metal Energy, you can also attack with Zacian V. Brave Blade can deal 230 base damage. But with the Intrepid Sword, after attaching Energy onto Zacian V, or after using Metal Saucer to attach onto your Metal Pokemon, you can use energy switch to help with energizing Kyogre. But wait, there's more! Kyogre also requires water energy. So with the combination of metal and water energy, this can only mean Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia Tag Team, or ADP. First of all, one of the most powerful GX attack in the game is the Altered Creation GX attack. For one metal energy, for the rest of the game, all of your Pokemon's attack is increased by 30. But if you add water for the rest of the game, now you can take an extra prize card each time you knock out your opponent's active by damage from an attack. So with Altered Creation, Kyogre's attack will increase to 110 damage to the active Pokemon. However, keep in mind that this will not add to the damage done to your opponent's bench. And you cannot take any extra prize card if you knock out any of your opponent's bench Pokemon. It only counts towards your opponent's active. So don't get too overly excited. Its attack ultimate ray is also very powerful. For one water, one metal, and one colorless, it will do 150 base damage. But with Alter Creation, this attack can increase to 180. But not only that, this attack also allows you to find 3 basic energy from your deck and attach it to your Pokemon in any way you like. So we can utilize this one as our engine to energize our Kyogre. I'm also using a 202 line of Dragonite. It is worth noting that I am using this Dratini as the basic for Dragonite with the ability Aqua Lift. If this Pokemon has a water energy, it has no retreat cost. This comes in handy early game so that you don't have to use a switch to get it out of the active. We will just use Rare Candy to evolve from Dratini to Dragonite with the Hurricane Charge ability. Once during your turn, you can attach one water and or one lightning energy from your hand to your Pokemon in any way you like. Since it is a stage 2, it may take some time before you can set up. But this is very important in the late game so that you can fully energize a Kyogre fairly quickly. So you will want to set up at least one in your bench. And be sure to attach an air balloon on Dragonite or Zacian V for easy retreats. Additionally, I have Tapu Koko Prism Star with its Dance of the Ancients ability, which lets you attach two lightning energy to two different benched Pokemon, one each, and this goes in the Lost Zone. Again, this will help speed up energy attachment on Kyogre. As for the other Pokemon, I have two Gormandai Snorlax. Its ability ends your turn, but it lets you draw cards until you have seven in your hand. Very good early game while you set up. Next is Fion with its Whirlpool Suction ability, allowing you to push back your opponent's active, which can come in handy because it could mean easier knockouts, especially Kyogre will do extra damage to the bench with the Telescopic Sight equipped. And I included one copy of Moile GX with its ability Captivating Wink. Basically, when you play this from your hand to your bench, you can look at your opponent's hand, and if there's any basic Pokemon there, you can force them on your opponent's bench. This is really, really good because even if your opponent's active can tank Kyogre's hits, getting those weaker Pokemon onto the bench can mean easier knockouts. And this prevents your opponent from using the Dene GX or Crobat V's abilities, 
which could significantly slow down your opponent's setup. And to be able to attack for two energies is a plus. Having that secondary attacker being able to hit hard with Wily Bite for just one metal and one colorless, if your opponent has a full bench, this can deal about 160 damage. So I think this is a really good addition to this build. As for the other cards, I have two energy retrieval, which can be useful in setting up a new Kyogre. If one gets knocked out, you can easily get two of those energies back into your hand and then use Dragonite to attach those energy onto your new Kyogre. I also like Viridian Forest Stadium. This is good for discarding lightning energy so you can use Tapu Koko or discarding metal energy so you can use metal saucer. So it's good for some setup and then you can also find the specific basic energy you need to fully energize Kyogre. I have only one copy of Boss's Orders. I like using this to gust into the active one of my opponent's Pokemon who has high HP and high retreat cost and preferably a Pokemon who can't attack so that Kyogre can focus on knocking out a lot of those in the bench. But if your opponent happens to have a Mew with a bench barrier, this is good for taking care of that one. So use Boss's Order wisely. I also like using Skyla because it can simply get me the trainer card I need with no condition to be met. So I can grab Evolution Incense, Rare Candy, Air Balloon, Switch, Viridian Force, or Telescopic Sight when I need them. But if necessary, you can also use Skyla to set up your next turn by grabbing any of the other support cards when you don't have any other options. Sonya is also a great addition because it can grab us two basic Pokemon for setup or two basic energy from the deck for Kyogre. And finally, I've included five of each basic lightning, metal, and water energies. It's just a lot easier to move basic energy around and to get back from the discard pile. So there's a few ways to approach this build. I prefer starting with Gormandite Snorlax in the active, but if not, find your Zacian V so that you can have a continuous engine to draw cards. Next is to set up a Dratini in your bench and try to find a rare candy and Dragonite later on in your next few turns. And if possible, set up an ADP, attach a metal or water energy to start so you can use altered creation on your next turn. However, you can also discard a metal energy. You can then use metal saucer to attach on Zacian or Moile and then use energy switch to switch that metal energy on ADP and then manually attach a water energy on ADP. So you can technically use Altered Creation GX turn 1 going second, but the likelihood of you getting the perfect hand for the setup is very slim, but it is possible. Next is getting your Kyogre. With ADP fully powered up, you can then attack with Ultimate Ray, after which you can get energies onto your Kyogre. And with Dragonite to help with energies, you can basically win games with just a few hits with Kyogre. But the key is speed, you need to set up fairly quickly to get the upper hand. But don't give up either because how PTCGO shuffles and its RNG probability can get really bad. So it really depends on how you draw sometimes. And that's pretty much it. The deck list will be in the description below. But enough talk. Let's see some gameplay and clean out some boards. Alright. Oh, that's a cool coin. Hey, if you have a coin like that, uh, message me. <laughs> Maybe we can trade. Alright, Snorlax goes into the active. This is a really good hand. Uh, good starting hand. We have two Dratinis and we have rare candy and an evolution incense. So after our neck, our after our first turn, we can uh, evolve into Dragonite right away. So this is a really good start for us. We are up against Eternatus V Max deck. Um, see the thing with Eternatus V Max, it's really strong, but. We, we, don't, we don't really mind the strength of Eternatus because we're only giving up one prize card unless they knock out our Zacian V or ADP. So I think with Sonya, I'm just going to get ADP and a Kyogre. And I'm going to attach a Water Energy and just use Gormandize for now. We can use Altered Creation in our next turn, probably. Or maybe attack with ADP. Um, we do get a Dragonite already. Uh, and depending on how many Pokemon our opponent puts into the their bench, I mean, Eternatus VMAX decks can easily fill the bench really quickly. But there is a possibility that our ADP can survive at least one hit. Dude, even Snorlax can, can tank that hit. <laughs> oh my gosh. So let's just use this rare candy to evolve into Dragonite. 
Um, we can then put this metal energy on ADP, use an evolution incense. Uh, unfortunately, uh, that's all right. We can, what we could do is probably use Marnie here. Maybe we can get a switch. I don't want to discard any of those cards. So Marnie, I think is a good option, but we don't get anything. We don't have any lightning energy. So Tapu Koko is not useful right now. Um, we could play another Kyogre, but I think I'm just going to put Tapu Koko in the bench. Put this water energy on Kyogre and just Gormandize one more time. They're going to knock out our Snorlax. Okay, they have a crushing hammer. Um, that's fine. That is a-okay. There it is. They're filling up the bench and they're going to boss's order. ADP. All right. 150. So we won't survive another attack here. I don't think ADP should be in the active right now. For now, I'm just going to use Rare Candy to evolve another Dragonite, which could be very helpful uh, in the long run. So I'm just going to put a Metal Energy on Kyogre, I think. Put a Air Balloon on the one Dragonite, not Snorlax, because Snorlax will just get knocked out. Our opponent has a dead hand, so uh, there's not much they could do their turn other than attack. So what we did was just switch Snorlax in the active and just Gormandize. So they're going to knock out our Snorlax. And we're just going to put Dragonite in the active. We can just retreat back with it. Uh, so we have a few options here. We can put Kelger in the bench. Uh, we can even attach one Metal Energy somewhere. Use Professor's Research to get rid of the two Lightning Energy and use Tapu Koko. But then we can just save Tapu Koko later if we need to set up another one. We do have two Dragonites to use Hurricane Charge anyways. So we could just attach one Lightning. Um, on this Kyogre, I think. Professor's Research. So we have one lightning in the discard pile now. So we have one water, one metal, and a lightning. Uh, but for now, we can use energy retrieval. I'll just get that lightning back. Uh, that way we can use um, this quick ball to get rid of that. And get another Kyogre because we can just set up a third one in case. So uh, we can easily energize our Kyogres with two Dragonites anyway. So I'm just going to use Hurricane Charge to get one Lightning and one Water Energy. I can set up ADP and fully equip this Kyogre and start attacking with it. So our opponent now has to contend with two strong Pokemon. We have Kyogre and also ADP. Uh, but you know what, for now, I think I'm just gonna utilize Altered Creation GX. Our opponent will get three prizes for it, but we still have two. I think we can still, with two attacks from Kyogre, I think we could do this. Because, first of all, it'll increase attack damage on our opponent's active. And... Let's see, okay. 210 damage. I don't know if that was a good decision, but we'll go with it. So now they have two prizes to go. Um, we do have Skyla. We can use energy retrieval. Um, ooh, and unfortunately, we don't have any more energy retrieval. We do have energy in the deck though. So what can we use here instead? I'm just going to use energy switch. Put Zash in there. Put this metal energy. Switch that energy on this Kyogre. 
Uh, we can use Dance of the Ancients and put one Lightning Energy. So it'll be good for the next turn. Hopefully we get another energy. Hopefully. <laughs> so for now, I think we're just going to Amazing Surge here. And that'll hit 110 damage to all of our opponent's uh, Vs and Vmax, except for... <laughs> There's the Viridian Forest! That's exactly what we need to get our water energy for our second Kyogre. And I think... I think we could win this! So it'll hit for 110 for those two Crobats. That'll get us four price cards. And then they have Absol and then Hoopa, which we will also knock out. That's, that's six price cards in one hit. <laughs> there it is. Viridian Forest. Oh, you don't, <laughs> you don't need Viridian Forest. Amazing Surge for the win, guys. Six prizes in one hit. Well, five prizes now, but you know what? <laughs> GG's. Ooh, that was a close one. All right, moving on to our next match. I gotta tell you, I have been enjoying this Kyogre deck very much. Uh, the setup is a little awkward for sure, but once you set up and I don't know, it's just it's just so powerful. Being able to knock out multiple Pokemon in one go, it it's crazy. All right, so let's put the Kyogre in the active. Put your teeny there. Uh, we have two pieces of the puzzles. We just need one more Dragonite. We need a Dragonite to evolve. Uh, we do have Zacian, Zacian V. Um, we can... Let's just put the Kyogre in the bench. I think we can set up the one in the bench. Put a Metal Energy on it. Well, you know what? I'll put it on Zacian V. And then I'm going to use Professor's Research. Ooh, we have a Snorlax. We could use that. We have one lightning. We can have another one there uh, in the discard so we can use Tapu Koko. So we can get rid of that. And we can just get ourselves a Tapu Koko. Put that in the bench. We could put another Kyogre so that we can put one lightning each. Okay. Um, put air balloon on Dratini. Let's see, we can use Quick Ball to get rid of the Metal Energy. We still have Metal Saucers in the deck, so we could use that to power up our Zashin, Zashin V. And I think I'm just going to put ADP in the bench and just use Intrepid Sword as our uh, drawing engine instead of Snorlax. Because, first of all, we can't switch it into the active. So... I think that's the best thing to do. Um, we can put the air balloon on Zashin V maybe in the next turn. Yeah. Well, anyways, our opponent's going to Marnie. But yeah, I put the metal energy on Zashin V because we have energy switch anyways. At least that's going to... That's going to keep our opponent on guard to watch out for Zashin V as well. So they're not just thinking of Kyogre, but also our other attackers. I think I'm just going to put a Water Energy on ADP, and I'm going to Intrepid Sword again. So we're going to keep going with this setup. We have Metal Saucer to put Energy on Zashin, and we can even knock out this um, Slowbro V. But we have a lot of options here. We can put Energy on ADP, so we can use Altered Creation. And we have Rare Candy. We just need a Dragonite to evolve. So... Okay, so our opponent's combo is Poison with Toxtricity VMAX again. So what I'm going to do is just use Metal Saucer and attach a Metal Energy on ADP. Use Kyla to get myself an Evolution Incense so we can get Dragonite. So let's get one. Then we can use Rare Candy to evolve. 
We don't have any uh, energy, so we can't use energy retrieval, but we can use the lightning energy. And let's see where we can put it. We can put it in an ADP and we can just attack, but I'm gonna alter creation here. Uh, with ADP, it always makes me think of attacking first, energize our Kyogre or something like that before using Altered Creation, but I think Altered Creation is a good um, option right now. But they do have a Bird Keeper. I was hoping they didn't have anything. And they're going to attack for 240 damage. But that's not enough to knock out our ADP. And I'm just going to use Ultimate Ray here. They will get three prizes for this, but at least that's going to give us uh, three, uh, three energies for our Kyogre. Allowing it to attack in the next turn. And also that that puts a lot of damage on this uh, Toxtricity VMAX. They also have a Bolton though, which could be dangerous. But you know what? If we knock out this Toxtricity VMAX, um, we get three prizes for it. And that eliminates all that energy, which gives power to Bolton's attack. So uh, we should be fine. And even if they knock out this ADP, we have access to three different energies for our next turn anyway. So we can even use um, Zashin V to attack this Toxtricity to knock it out. And that'll get us three prize cards. So let's see what our opponent does. They have two Boltons in their bench now. And they're just going to attack our ADP. It has a... Uh, a little over 100 plus HP. So, um, Kyogre can go in the active for now. We can hit 100. I mean, we need a telescopic sight. Oh, what just happened there? That lily is interesting. Okay, I'm just gonna use energy retrieval. To get ourselves, um, I mean, we could use Hurricane Charge, but for now, I'm gonna get um, this Metal Energy and use Hurricane Charge to get this Water Energy. Because we are using three Metal, Metal is the best option to get out of the discard. Otherwise, we will we'll have a hard time getting that Metal Energy from our deck. So I'm just gonna gust this Bolton V. They're going to have a hard time getting it out of the active unless they have a, a switch. So that's why we did that. They can't attack unless they switch it out. Oh, which <laughs> unfortunately they have the switch. And that will knock out this Kyogre. But you know what? Um... We have another Kyogre, oh, but we don't get any. We don't get any energies, so I think I'm just gonna put Dratini here, and we can just retreat Dragonite, sacrifice Dratini. It's not like they have anything in their hand, anyways, unless they have Boss's Order by chance, and that'll be it. Okay, they're going to evolve into another Toxtricity VMAX, and they're going to Marnie. Okay, that means they don't have a boss's order, and that means our Kyogre will live on. So one option that we got is Energize. Ooh, we got a Metal Saucer, and a Viridian Forest, and a Telescopic Sight. So G-Max Bolt, that's good. Uh, we can just use Kyogre here. We can knock out the one in the active and knock out the one Bolton. And with the Altered Creation, that'll get us one extra prize card off of the uh, Toxtricity VMAX. And that will get us six prize cards in one hit. So that Altered Creation does make a difference. Uh, meantime, we'll just charge all this up. Amazing Surge. Knocking out two Pokemon, but that'll get us six prize cards in one turn. Amazing. Looked like we were losing there for a second, but we got it. GG's. GG's to our opponent. Alright. Let's go to our next match here. 
I like that orange coin there. I wonder where where we can get where we can get that. Markachu. Markachu one. Alright, let's have a good game. I do have Zashin V to start off in the active. Let's see what our opponent has. Charizard! Charizard! I've been seeing a lot of Charizard uh, decks in the ladder lately. It, it's pretty strong. It, I I do not I do not underestimate Charizard at all. It's basically like an ADP because since it can hit for 300 plus damage, you can just pick off any like three prizers off of your opponent's um, board and. You can just knock it out and get multiple price cards in one in one go. So Charizard is definitely uh, a very strong Pokemon with the Leon card. So let's see how we fare here. Uh, I think one of the main things we got to do with Kyogre is set up really, really quickly because if we can knock out multiple char or charmanders, multiple charmanders in one go, that can really turn the tide and just eliminate all of their Charizard from even attacking. So that's that's our main goal. So let's see how fast we can set this up. We have Dratini. I'm just gonna use Quick Ball, get rid of one Lightning to set up for Tapu Koko. Switch into Snorlax. Attach one Energy. To lessen our hand and use Gormandize, which will get us four, four cards in our hand, and that gets us a Kyogre. Uh, we have two pieces of the puzzle again with Dragonite. We just need a rare candy to evolve it, and we can start charging up our Kyogre. So again, that Charizard deck it can get really, they can really set up really quickly. Especially if they have rare candy. So again, with their turn, we still can't attack. And with their setup, they can start attacking and start setting up more Charmanders in their bench. And be able to have secondary attackers that way. So they are going to switch into Charmeleon though. I'm not sure. I mean, they can attack with it, but still. Okay, they're going to attach an energy. And they're going to use Professor's Research. That'll get them seven more cards in their hand. Another, uh, they're going to use Quick Ball, probably another Charmander. Yep, for sure. There's the rare candy. See, that's what I mean. Um, and if they have a welder in their next turn, they can start attacking with that as well. So for now, they can probably see that we don't have anything. So they're probably, they. I'm pretty sure their strategy here is to attack in the next turn. Maybe even get uh, if they have a boss's order, they can even target our Zashin and knock it out for two two prizes. Okay, they're just going to switch out into Jirachi and hand it over to us. We'll put one Kyogre in the bench, put one Water Energy on it. I'm just going to put two Kyogres here. Um, it doesn't really matter if we get uh, an evolution for Dragonite so we'll just use the energy switch which gets us less cards in our hand so that our Gorm Gormandize gets us more more cards um, we do have a Dragonite again but we need that rare candy for sure we can start attacking with the uh, Kyogre in the next turn if we have that rare candy But if we don't, I think what we're going to have to do is put this lightning energy because we need that three specific energy on Kyogre and one colorless. So 
I think what we could do is attach that one lightning energy on Kyogre. Um, we can check if we have another Dragonite in the in the deck. Otherwise, we cannot use Professor's Research if we don't if we have the other Dragonite prized. Because if we um, there's no way for us to get this Dragonite out of the discard pile, so we have to make sure that we have something to evolve Dratini. Otherwise, we're going to have a really hard time energizing our Kyogres. So... Let's see what our opponent does. Uh, for our next turn, for sure, we can use the Lightning Energy. Put it on Kyogre. Okay, they're going to use Ordinary Rod. Alright, so they turn it over to us. Um, hmm. What are our options here? Let's check if there's another Dragonite. That way we can use Professor's Research. Nice. So now, what we could do is... Let's see. We can no, you know what? We can attach this to fulfill the requirement. But I'm just going to attach Water Energy, I think. Professor's research, get rid of that one lightning so we can get a Tapu Koko. Hopefully, well, we get a Quick Ball, so we could do that. Get rid of the Giratini, get a Tapu Koko. Now we can use uh, Tapu Koko's uh, ability, and that'll get us two lightning energies on both of our Kyogres in the bench, which is really good. Um, let's see, we can use Fion. Yeah, we can put Fion there. And we can use Gormandise so that will increase our card draw. We have a Telescopic Sight. I mean, Telescopic Sight is really useless in this matchup because we, we're not fighting against any V, v Pokemon. I mean, they have Oricori GX, which will add damage to, but nothing significant at the moment. So... Um, our opponents Charizard will be able to knock out Zacian V if they want to. They have Boss's Order, so they can gust any of our Pokemon. But our opponent will have to knock out at least five because they get two prize cards off of the Zacian V, and everything else is one. So they have to knock out at least five of our Pokemon. But we are hitting for weakness. Kyogre is hitting for weakness. So instead of 80, we will be hitting for 160 damage. Um, if we alter creation, it would be easier. But for now, it's we're 10 HP shy of knocking out one hit KOing any of our opponent's Charizard. So it's going to be difficult, but... I mean, if we do hit, I mean, bench damage is not hitting for weakness, so we're still going to have, a, we need to at least hit three times with three Kyogres in this game to get, uh, to get a lot of prizes off of that. I mean, we do get to knock out a Jirachi and Zigzagoon if we do attack. Um, we can knock out this giant hearth at least. But there's no way for us to get Snorlax out of the active, so I'm just going to Intrepid Sword. We do get a Dragonite, which is really good. So now we can use uh, Rare Candy. There's our opponent's second Charizard. So what's going to be difficult is that if we don't energize our Kyogre fast enough, they'll just continue to knock out our Pokemon and we're just gonna lose this game okay they attach an energy on Jirachi they're probably gonna retreat with it instead of using its stellar wish yep
Oh no! They will boss us order our Kyogre. We worked so hard to energize it too. Well, you know what? At least we have a uh, Dragonite. So we'll evolve into Dragonite. What we could do is use energy retrieval, get a water and a lightning energy, and then use... Um, or you know what? What we could do is get energy retrieval, get a metal energy. Because we don't have an energy switch. If we use metal saucer, we're not going to be able to use uh, metal energy onto our Kyogre. So I think that's the best option we got is energy retrieval, one metal and one water. We'll just put this Kyogre so we can start attacking. Now well, we do get another metal energy, so we could just get a water and lightning. So let's just get... Um, I'll just get two waters. I mean, we got one lightning already anyways. So we'll put that one, evolve into Dragonite so we can use Hurricane Charge. We can just use this to this metal saucer to put an energy. We'll find that energy switch at some point. So we might, we might need that. So now we have our Kyogre fully energized. And let's see, we can Marnie. We can Marnie. I think I'm just gonna Amazing Surge here. That'll eliminate two of their Pokemon. We get two prizes off of that. So at least this, uh, this Charizard in the active just needs one more hit. So if we hit with... Um, if we hit with the Amazing Surge this next turn, it will knock out that Charmeleon unless they evolve it into Charizard. But at least we'll get one prize card for sure in the next turn. Ooh, but you know what? Oh no, we have Fion. So what we could do is use Fion uh, to get this one out of the active and then hit for... Um, well, if they put Char Charmeleon, it doesn't really matter. So I think what I'm gonna do here instead is put Fion in the active, put this water energy on it and just knock it out. Let's put um, Mobile GX. Maybe we'll find a basic Pokemon on their bench. Well, there's a Snorlax. So that, that can be a liability. Uh, let's just get a use Viridian Forest. We can get another energy, a lightning energy, so we can use Hurricane Charge. Um, for now, I'll put that there. We have energy switch. We don't have any more energy retrieval. Uh, I can get Sonya for the next turn. I'm just gonna get energy switch. We can switch that metal energy onto Kyogre. So let's just do that. Uh, hurricane charge, one lightning on it. So in the next turn, we can Marnie or Professor's Research get another energy. So we have a, another Kyogre fully charged in the next turn. So. With Fion, he knocked out and got a prize card off of that one. So Fion, <laughs> Fion, who knew Fion can knock out a Pokemon, right? And a Charizard at that. Yeah, we could use Fion earlier, uh, switch out, but we don't have any energies uh, for our second Kyogre, so uh, it didn't doesn't really matter. So they're gonna, they could either use a boss's order to gust up our Sash and V, it doesn't really matter. But unless they find a, um, unless they find a evolution for Charizard, 
we can knock out the one in the active and the one in the bench. Okay, so yeah. So now we're all set up. We can definitely find two energies. We just need one water and another or metal energy will work too. But we need one water for sure. So what we can do here is use Viridian Forest. Uh, we can get rid of Marnie, get a water energy. Uh, we can attach the metal energy on Kyogre and then use Hurricane Charge for the water. And then what I'm going to do is just gust this. Hopefully they don't have anything to retreat with. That'll get us one prize card. We do have another Kyogre. So what's going to happen here is... They still have to knock out... Let's see, they have two bosses orders. Unless they can switch out this Oranguru. That's going to be it. One more hit and then we win this game. Yeah, so we have one more Metal Saucer. We used up all of our energy switch. Um, it'll be difficult for us to charge up the, the other Kyogre in the bench for sure. We can use Moil though to attack and knock out that Charizard. <laughs> um, they have two scoop up, they have two switch. They have three welders. I mean, they have one more card in their in their in their deck. So, unless they have anything to switch out that Charizard in the active. <laughs> oh no! But you know what? They'll, they're only taking one prize card. So what we could do here? Three hundred damage. My goodness. We still have Air Balloon, so uh, we can put Snorlax to use Gormandice, but we'll lose one price card. I think I'll just put Dragonite in the active. We'll lose one price card off of that. There's a Metal Energy. Okay, we can attach that on Wild Wild GX. So what I'm going to do here is use Professor's Research. Give me... There's the Metal Saucer and the Air Balloon! <laughs> oh my goodness, there it is! So we can attack with Moile for that chip damage to knock out this Charizard. Let's just get energy. We do have two more energies. We can energize this uh, Kyogre. So we can Wily Bite and just knock out this Charizard. So now our opponent doesn't have any uh, doesn't have any attacker unless they can set up one more. Otherwise, we sh we should be fine. Mawile is hitting for seventy. I don't think we have any more energies because we only have five each. You don't have any more energy switch, and we have one more water energy in the deck. Uh, I mean, they're out of cards, so unless they can attack here or the Marnie to get some cards back in their deck. They have Pokecom. All right, that'll that'll get us that that will get them one more turn. But yeah, there's uh, no way we can get any more energy. What we could do is just keep attacking with this Moal GX. They have one, two, three Charizard. Um, they have three rare candy. Do they have another rare candy to evolve into Charizard? V, uh, Charizard in the next turn. The questions, the anxiety. Uh. <laughs> All right, <laughs> our opponent scoops. We win. Oh man, that was close. 
All right, we're gonna choose heads. We lose the coin flip. And we end up going first, which is good for me. And I'm just gonna put Dratini into the active. Because Kyogre has three retreat costs and I don't want it to get knocked out uh, in the first turn anyway. So that will go in the bench. All right, we're against a lightning deck this time around. And let's see, should we put an energy on Kyogre? Um, I mean, we can start setting up first. So I'm going to use Veridian Forest, get rid of the metal energy and get our lightning energy. And then use a quick ball, get rid of the lightning. So we're setting up for Tapu Koko basically and also Metal Saucer. And I'm just gonna get Zashin V off of the Quick Ball. And then we can Gorm uh, we can Intrepid Sword, not, Gorm not Gormandize, that's Snorlax. So let's Intrepid Sword. We get an Energy Switch and a Metal Saucer, which can help out a little bit later. Uh, we can start charging up our Kyogre. So let's see what our opponent does but for now Dratini, Dratini in the active will survive. Our opponent's gonna use a quick ball. See what they got. A Bolton V. A shiny Bolton V. Nice. Big charm. And they're gonna Marnie us. Um I'm actually okay with that because I don't wanna use up energy switch just yet. Okay, we have a rare candy. Pikachu and Zekrom tag team. Alright. So we can use Aqua Lift here and put a water energy and retreat if we can get a snorlax maybe that would be good so we are up against a picarom deck uh kyogre is weak against lightning as well and we don't have a mew bench barrier in this build so pikachu uh, picarom tag team can target two pokemon at once so i'm glad we got air balloon we don't have to attach a water energy and I'm just gonna use intrepid sword and attach another metal energy on Zashin V we can attack with it even knock out the Bolton maybe but we we might need that extra oomph in this uh, in this matchup so having that air balloon on Dratini will allow us to retreat so I was thinking of getting the water energy on it so that we can retreat with it. But we have a switch anyway, so... And the air balloon, so we're good. If we don't get anything, any good support card off of our top deck, then we might have to just Intrepid Sword again and just sacrifice Dratini. But that's going to be very detrimental to our strategy because we're, we're going to have a hard time energizing our, our Kyogre. So the typical electrify strategy. So Bolton has 230 HP. Uh, Sashin V can knock it out in one hit and it's not resistant to metal unlike Picaram there. So and it will survive one attack from uh, Pikachu and Zekrom. What we could do is actually get ourselves an evolution incense. Uh, evolve into Dragonite. Let's see. Um, so we'll just use Skyla. Uh, hmm. I think I'm just going to get a quick ball for now. The reason is we can get rid of this lightning energy. Get a Snorlax for more setup. 
sw uh, you know what no retreat don't waste that switch put this water energy and I'm just gonna stall for one more turn Gorman dice what in the world is this hand guy <laughs> And this is what I mean with RNG and the shuffling of PTCGO. Sometimes you just get really, really bad draws. Look at this. Two Kyogre, two Rare Candies, and three Switch. None of which we really, really need. I mean, an extra Kyogre would be good. We just need a Dragonite to evolve using the Rare Candy. Uh, meantime, actually, that extra turn allows our opponent to energize even more, which is really bad. Um, I'll just put Kyogre and then put a Lightning Energy there, and I'm just going to Intrepid Sword. There's an Energy Switch. So we can now attack with Kyogre. Let's see. But I think that decision to get a Snorlax was good because even if we attacked with Kyogre, it'll hit once. Oh! So I was gonna say, it's gonna hit once, but then we don't have a replacement Kyogre. But then our opponent will just gust it into the active and knock it out. Unbelievable. So this is definitely an uphill battle for us. 380 damage. So we'll put Dratini there. We can just retreat back. We have a Metal Energy. We can just knock out this Bolton V because it's very obnoxious. I'm going to use um, this Quick Ball. And we can get an ADP. We could. Yeah, I think I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna get an ADP, but I'm not gonna play it yet. I'm just gonna Brave Blade, knock out this Bolton. Retribution for knocking out our energized Kyogre. You know, that was so mean. Get a Sonya and a Metal Energy. Okay. We need that Dragonite. We need to evolve so we can energize quickly. No. We can attack with Zashin again. We have three switch. <laughs> so so that that those uh, switches actually came in handy after all. And now our opponent doesn't have anything in their hand. Unless they switch out into Jirachi and get something. Uh, they won't be able to get this uh, Pika Rom out of the active. Okay. So we're still safe. They're not hitting uh, that GX attack. They won't be able to hit two Pokemon at once. So with Skyla, I think this is the time to get the Evo Incense. Get ourselves a Dragonite. Use the Rare Candy to evolve. Um, oof, we're running out of energies though, so we gotta be very careful. Um, hmm, what to do? I can switch into Dragonite and retreat back and hit with Zashin again. At least it'll soften up this Pikachu and Zekrom. We will get knocked out in the next turn. But we have really li uh, we have really little choice. Okay, they're gonna switch into Tapu Koko V. They're gonna knock it out. And Tapu Koko can just uh, freely retreat, probably into Jirachi. And then. Ooh, we get. 
energy retrieval, which is good. We need the metal energy for sure. And let's see. We still have a Tapu Koko in, in our deck. Oh, metal and water? Hmm. Two metals, I think, is better. We do have a lot more. We still have a few more lightning and water in the deck. So I think, yeah. So we got two lightning and three water. So for now, we'll just get the lightning and water energy. We can use hurricane charge. Put these two energies on ADP. And we can just attack, I think. And we have energy switch. So what we're going to do here is... I don't know, alter creation. I'm just going to ultimate ray. That way we can put these three energies onto one of our Kyogre. Yeah. Yeah. So now Pikaram, unless they have some way to heal it. Okay, good, good. Unless they have something to heal. We can get five prize cards by knocking out these two. No. Oh, you know what? That's okay, that's okay. Uh, either we have Katapo Koko, or we can attach one metal energy and energy switch that lightning energy from ADP onto our Kyogre. Yeah. So we can knock out these two unless they can heal. If they have like top, um, they have Malo and Lana or something like that. But they have ADP to contend with. So are they going to attack ADP? But with. Raichu tag team. I think they're just gonna opt for the paralyze, yeah. <laughs> Fortunately for us, we have the switch. We're gonna put that metal energy switch, energy switch, well played to our opponent. Transfer that lightning energy, amazing surge for five, no, six price cards because of that Jirachi included man thanks to our opponent for an awesome game ggs kyogre amazing rare i think is one of the most deadly pokemon out of all the amazing rares thus far unless your opponent has some way to prevent bench damage especially if they have bench barrier mew kyogre has the capability of dealing so much damage to all of your opponent's pokemon at one time and it literally becomes overkill in most cases other than the awkward energy cost kyogre is truly amazing and that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please, please, please don't forget to smash that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Please don't forget to share this content. And please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay safe and have a great day.